Hey, what's up? This is Gil Sharon, and I am a DW drum artist. Back with DW. Um, I've always dreamed of owning a DW drum set coming up. Every time I'd go to Guitar Center, you know, the first kit I saw was whatever top of the line DW was right there. I'd always drool. And I'm happy to be playing DW drums full line now, not just hardware and pedals. I've been using DW pedals and hardware, God, for I don't know, over a decade easily. And I've been with the company as an artist for about a decade. had my eye on the drums for years. Um, most recently when I was working on my DVD Wicked Beats at the Drum Channel Studios, I got to be up close and personal with a lot of DW drums and see kind of the new products and what was coming out and just I was always in awe with the quality and the sound. As soon as I play a DW drum, whether it's a snare or a whole kit, there's just, there's a feeling they have personally for me that I'm just drawn to. And then the vintage lines came out, the classic series, the jazz series. Um, in my DVD, Wicked Beats, for the 60s era, um, instead of getting a vintage kit, I actually am using a DW classics kit. And it sounds amazing. It's got the feel, the look, and that bass drum is just, it's, it's something that you really, it's a characteristic that you get out of vintage drums that these brand new modern drums have. So blown away by those and this kit right here I just did four records on in the past month and a half and I am completely blown away by the technology of how they're able to manipulate the shells and the difference in tone starting with the 8 all the way to the 18 just going all, all around the kit when you think a drum can't get any lower <laughs> it just gets lower and heavier <laughs>
John Good, which I call uh, Drum Education 101. Um, he's a true innovator and an inspiration to be around. It's funny because he'll tell me as an artist, like, you're, you're inspiring to talk to you and you have so much energy. But I'm like, dude, it's right back at you. Because when I sit and see how enthusiastic he is about his drums and his new discoveries and manipulating the wood grain and to now got the shell to sound clearly different. So, you know, what happened with John, he gave me his examples using about five or six different shells of the same size. And he did the tap test. And clearly it was the same size shell, same wood, but the plies were, the, the grain was manipulated, or maybe one had reinforcement rings and one had maybe a couple extra plies or something. But with that kind of crash course and, and starting with the sound of the shell, it was kind of easy to, to bounce ideas off of each other. I told him for this new kit, I, first of all, I need a studio kit with all the sizes of the spectrum because I'm, I'm just so busy with sessions right now that sometimes I'll go in and play a four piece kit with a larger rack tom and a larger floor, but other times I'll play like more of a fusion setup or I'll need a, a session where I'm actually using every single drum. So I wanted um, my eight not to sound like a high eight. I wanted something lower, a beefier eight. So that's what we're, we started building the kit around, starting with the eight inch tom, then going around to each drum and customizing with the new custom shell configuration that you guys have, which I think is brilliant because you really capture what somebody wants out of a kit and you can mix and match. It's, it's not just, you're not just married to one type of shell or even wood. So yeah, with John, we just kind of bounced ideas back and forth and it was important that I got a kit that captures what I need in the studio, which is a lot of flexibility. And with these kits, you, you can't get any more versatile because I jump from this style to this style to this style and I could use the same kit for all of them.
my very first kind of top of the line drum I ever bought, I remember was a five by 13 DW snare. And it was just a clear maple. And I still have that drum to this day. And it's still one of my favorite snares. Um, the new, God, the new vintage brass drum I've been loving. Uh, it's it's kind of just, there's so much between now the wood and the metal drums that I don't even know which ones I lean to. I just did a session for the new OTEP record and I played, the majority of that record was the steel drum. It was that new steel vintage brass one, which I'm in love with. And then for a couple of the tunes, we just threw up this red, this uh, wood drum from this kit. And wow, when I heard that after playing the metal drum for the majority of the record, I was like, oh my God. So the sound of DW snares have always just had such a distinct crack to me, just always. Whether, whether it's a big drum that's tuned low or whether it's just a smaller drum that's really tight, it's just, there's just always been that distinct just pop and crack. And it's not, it's not this dry kind of dead sounding snare. It's, there's a lot of life to it, but there's that crack. And to me, that's, that's the sound that I like to have just in general. That's kind of the default sound that I have, something that, that has enough articulation for the fast rolls and everything, but also just a nice backbeat for the pocket stuff. And, you know, all my favorite drummers coming up, especially Fish, Fisher from Fishbone, you know, when I was 13, 14, 15, like that was, that was the sound I wanted. And so it's just killer all these years later to come back full circle and, and be playing these amazing drums. I'm just so inspired right now. drums specifically and I chose to take this kit with me for these sessions because they, they specifically they have enough attack but tone and it's not like I said about the snares earlier there's it's you're never really compromising something with DW drums it's not like you have to have a drum that's just going to give you a lot of attack and but it's just got no tone at all 
or the other way around. I need both. I have to have both out of my sound, how I play the drums, where I play the drums, where I hit the snare drum, where I hit the rack toms, just all over the place and to get different colors and sounds. You know, I could be playing the same snare five different ways and people think they're different drums, but it's just the same snare and it responds to me. It, the way I want to make it sound, it responds that way. And definitely head choice can also make these drums respond totally differently. These really just respond to everything you do to them. As far as a high-end kit on the market, they're basically, it's, it's one choice that I tell people. It's DW. That's a one-stop shop. You know, everything's custom, so you can get anything you need. Sharon, and I would like you to check out DW Custom Shop Drums. <laughs>